Okay, guys. <clears throat> so, let's start to talk about uh, music. Yeah. <laughs> As uh, I mentioned before, the music is uh, the heart of arranging sounds and time through elements of melody, harmon, rhythm, and timbre. So um, I got to hear a song I am on the Maya Blitton Live just for showing and uh, telling you. But before I show you the song, I want to let you listen to some of the elements that the song has uh, composed, I'm gonna use just some loops. So, uh, you see, we have uh, kicks. We have um, percussions. We have different kinds of uh, per percussions, uh, Thomas included. Uh, we have the snare. And uh, in the modern music, uh, we do, uh, we have uh, instruments and we also have scenes. So we have uh, like, um, of course, basses. So here you can hear a synth. Here you can hear a synth. You can hear a bass. This is actually a uh, drop. Then we have also uh, harps, we have arpeggios, we have uh, leads, uh, we have a lot of uh, different uh, uh, instruments that can be used uh, in a song. So here I have a song, this is just an introduction, so don't you worry guys, we're gonna use we are going to see in a different lesson, different kind of things. But today I want to uh, concentrate on uh, what is uh, an arrangement of a song, why it should interest you if you want to be a good DJ, what are the BPM, and uh, what is the phase, and uh, how to translate the waveform uh, to make better mixes. So, as uh, you can hear, let's take now um, a listen to this song, and uh, I will show you uh, the arrangements of this song, why it is important. So, this is a, a heady M song, is actually, uh, <clears throat> is actually, um, uh, EDM song, so yeah, mostly like future house style. Uh, so let's listen to it. Let's see what's going on. Thank you. 
Okay, guys. So we're listening to this part of uh, the song, and um, the first thing that we hear on uh, this song is the intro. This is I extended the mix song. Usually, will you deal a lot with extended mix uh, songs because the extended mix songs uh, with the normal songs that just start and you hear the verse or and then uh, the build and the drop and whatever um, they have this introduction part and this introduction part is very useful in order to make a mix in uh, future house ADM house music because uh, it's not a busy zone you can see the song uh, uh, started to uh, from basic elements like the drums yeah and there is also a little scene at the start did you hear that part so uh, it's very empty now you hear in that part that some elements has been added. In particular, you can hear that the bass was added. Still dream about you. Yeah, and here more elements are headed. And here the verse start. So let's give a, a name of a, to the kind of sessions. So we can finally say that uh, this part is the intro. <laughs> it's the few minutes of uh, that song, so I'm gonna type intro. And uh, in this intro, this intro part goes till this point right here where the verse start so here is going to be my verse and uh, the intro we can split it up in two parts intro and the intro too why intro too i'm going to explain everything in a few seconds guys uh, then here in the verse when I'm scared, I Here we go to uh, building up. We are gonna uh, talk about these uh, things in few, but just take this in mind for now. And uh, here in the building up, we have two sections. This is the pre building up. So I'm gonna call it the pre building up. And here is the true one, so... Still dream about you, still dream about you And here we can hear the pre-drop Still dream about you and here we can hear the drop or the chorus depends on the style of music I'm gonna call this just drop So this is uh, my second uh, drop, so I'm going to call this drop 2. Yeah, here we got uh, a breakdown. And uh, I'm here we go again at the verse. I'm oh, and again here we start to have uh, 
another breakdown versus section. So I'm just gonna I think this thing is a change by the style. So this is a breakdown uh, slash verse. And here again Still dream about you. we got again at the building up part. Dream about you. And as you can hear, we have the pre drop and the drops again. So let's head pre drop or fake drop, depends. <laughs> uh, pre drop, drop one, and then we have again uh, the drop two. Depends if you you can call drop one dot uh, drop one dot zero drop uh, one dot uh, one uh, and uh, so going on depends on the your key that you give to the names that you give it to hit. So this is uh, the how to draw of the song. How to yeah. And uh, this is also the how to how to draw too. So now let's talk about these elements because, as I said before, uh, we have an intro part. Another part where there is an intro, then we have the, the verse, then we have the pre building up, the building up, the pre drop, drop, drop two, break down, verse again, um, building up, pre drop, drop, and the outro. So, the intro, as I said before, is composed by basic elements. You can uh, finally say that it's an intro when a few elements are playing. So, uh, like like this that we heard before then you see that the elements begin headed to the second part of the intro then we have a verse where there is a part that um, there is a, a singer or just a, a weak melody and then we get it is a pre building up a section where some drums are harder in order to 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 build and arrive to the drop so And uh, here we have, uh, yeah, this is uh, the part of the pre-drop and we have a, a fake drop or pre-drop, um, depends on how you want to call it. As you see, this one is the drop or chorus and it sounds uh, so good. Then we have another section where the drop um, in the drop are being headed uh, uh, a lot of movements, instruments for uh, for create more movement, and then in the breakdown the song uh, become again a little bit quiet. And then. Uh, and then so on again with the building up. Dream about you. 
yeah and then at the outro one and the outro two so the most important part for house music for example where to make the mix are the intro part that i'm gonna select and uh, there's a part of the building up that i am highlighting and the how to draw so in the forward lesson we're going to see and um, you know, how to use those points to make the mix but you see it's uh um, you always want to have an extended mix of a song uh when um, it exists because it's gonna be easier for you to match the beats and then make a great mix and uh, i want to also um, use um, another thing another scheme that uh, is a little bit different than uh, this depends on the song struct uh, structure of the song so um, you will hear songs this is a general scheme then uh, we needed to focus on um, the different songs to understand where are the points that we need so that's a say intro then uh, we have uh, the building up uh, or the breakdown this can uh, be very okay building up so breakdown it depends on the song then uh, we have uh, the drop then we have uh, again the breakdown then we have again the, the build um, then we have uh, again the drop and then we have again the outro so this is a, a basic scheme uh, a basic scheme that we can use to recognize different parts based on what we said earlier and uh, you can notice it in different song now we are gonna take another song for example and uh, uh, an exercise that I want you to make is um, to um, listen to the, the song uh, maybe search it on YouTube or I will provide and I try to um, recognize the different section of the song now I'm gonna take this one and uh, I'm gonna open another project and um, yeah you can uh, starting to listen to it let's start together So try to exercise and uh, uh, try to understand which uh, which arrange arrangements points we made um, earlier. So 
now I want to talk uh, about uh, uh, BPM and uh, uh, BPM is um, a term uh, that is used to say uh, to um, uh, to describe how many bits per minute are um, are played uh, songs can have a different BPMs depend on the style of music mostly of the house uh, techno music have a range of BPM around 120 and uh, 130 more or less then uh, we have dubstep with uh, 140 and uh, going up to 150 this is just a generic we have the drum and bass that um, is around 170 bpm um, we have also hardcore uh, that is around 140 bpm we also have uh, a glitch up that is around 90 85 100 bpms so we have a different uh, bit per uh, bit per minute uh, but how we can uh, describe a bit that um, um, let's describe it in order to do this uh, I'm gonna show you um, metrically what is uh, a bit so as you can see guys here I got uh, some uh, some numbers one two uh, three four and uh, this numbers right here indicates um, uh, the bars okay so I have a one one three five now I'm just uh, reading this and uh, this is the bit one This is the beat two. This is the beat three and so on. So how many bits are played per minute? So uh, if I increase this number right here, my BPM, of course i'm gonna play more bits per minute you see because let, let, let's slow down a little bit let's go from uh, uh seventh seventh let's go to sorry 100 it's gonna be easier to make this example with 100 bpm in a two bits i'm gonna play around four seconds but if i double that number I'm gonna play just a two as you can see down in here yeah I'm just gonna play just two so you understand how important it is this concept because this change the way you see a song and the way you make your mixes and uh, we want to know of course in order to to match the right uh, tempo uh, how how many bpm a song has of course nowadays you can uh, read on your uh, on your software uh, how many bpm has a song and uh, when it is a software when you play with uh, uh, how older uh, dj um, controller and um, you will not uh, see a display with uh, the bpm so uh, in order to count, you can see how many kicks are played and just try with your fit. I know it's hard to imagine right now because you will have it in your software. But in order to get how many bits are played per minute, just uh, see how many times the kick uh, play in, uh, in a bar. So it's uh, just a practical test. Try to see, for example, I'm going to make... Um, uh, another example that you can understand better I'm gonna take just uh, uh, 
uh, kick so you can hear what I mean so this is my kick so if I play it like that ops you see that I play this kick in this manner and uh, this is a you can't really catch but in an ounce song um, this is one second so I can recognize even looking at uh, um, a watch and I could define uh, that it is a song is a planning 200 um, but uh, look if I just slow down the BPM Let's make this again as I did earlier. So you see, it's slower because the tempo now um, is slower. The BPM is slower, and so on. But you will sh see it in uh, the display. By the way, in the modern softwares, uh, you don't have to do this manually. It's already written uh, uh, right there. Okay. So, uh, for now it's enough and uh, we will talk about uh, more nice things and uh, other lessons. If you have a question, let me know in local chat.